Hello everyone, welcome to Chong's Real World Data. This is Chong Wang. In this video, I will show you how to rename your variables in R by using the real world data that I collected for my PhD dissertation. There are more than one way to rename variables in R. In this video, I will use the rename function to change the names of a number of variables in the sample data. As always, we need to first set up our working directory. Here, this is where you have your data stored. Run it. In my last video, I eliminated all invalid cases from the original data and saved the clean data as an RDS file called mydata.valid. Let's first load the data by using the readRDS function. And I will call this mydataValid in R. RD, uh, read RDS. And here we only need to give the name of the file, RDS file, which is called mydata.valid. Let's load the data. To rename the variables, we first need to know how the variables are named in the current file. Here we need to use a function called names function. Names to call the names of all variables. And within this function, you need to let know which data you're, you're talking about. Valid. And run it. In the console window, you can see all the variable names are uh, printed. Okay, the first few variables are kind of informative, like start date and date, as they were generated from Qualtrics. Uh, by the way, my data was collected via Qualtrics service. However, like when you go down to see the remaining variables, those names do not carry any meaningful information. And here in this video, I'm going to show you how to use rename function to change the names of the variables in your data. To use this function, you need to first load a package called dplyr. Load the package. This package includes many useful data manipulation functions. And uh, I'm going to give my new data a different name called my data renamed. Within the rename function, you need to give at least two arguments. First, you need to tell R which data you want to have the variables renamed. And in this case, of course, it's my data dot valid. That's the data we want to work on. And then you need to tell R how you want to rename your variables. And let's go back to the console window and check the variable names. Okay. For example, in my data, you, you, you will not know what these names represent. But since this is my data, so I know that Q38 underscore 1 to Q38 underscore 15. These are items um, used to assess individual's rationale generation orientation. It don't need to know what that variable is. It's just a variable that I included in my dissertation. But here I want to rename these 15 items and give it a new name called Rational Generation Orientation. So it's RGO in short. So now the variable names carry information. I will know that, oh, when I see this variable, that's represent, that represents rational generation orientation. 
And since the variable names are string variables, so here we need to use quotation marks. Rational it includes 15, so the first items I call it ration RGO1 and equals RGO1 is the new name and the old name is Q38 underscore 1. So now I renamed the one variable Q38 underscore 1. The new name will be RGO1. I want I need to do the same thing for the remaining 14 items. And here I want to use copy paste. Okay. And also this is why I like the rename functions as I can change multiple variable names at once. Run it. And to check the rename, we need to call the names again. The new name is called data renamed. Run it. And here you can see these 15 items were renamed successfully. Okay, now I'm going to keep renaming other variables in the data. Now I have all relevant variables renamed. I have to say this is a little bit repetitive. Fortunately, we only need to do this once. Okay. Let's run the codes again and check the names. Okay, ethnicity, age, gender, PL represent perceived learning in this case. These are motivation variables and this is rational generation orientation. Okay, now I want to save the file for future use. Save RDS. Want to save the data? Renamed as my data dot renamed. Let's run. Okay. As you wrote, you can find all the R codes in the lecture note. I will put the link to this PDF file next to the video. As you can see in this data, I have many columns that I probably won't use in my research project. So in the next video, I will show you how to remove unnecessary columns in R. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.